the rotate command. What I'm going to do now is select the rotate icon from the modify toolbar. I'm going to select it, select objects, I'm going to select this triangle. Notice I'm doing it with a crossing window. I press enter. Now it's asking me for the base point. Where do you want me to grab this thing to rotate it? Where do you want the center of the rotation to be? I'm going to select right here. And notice that yes I can rotate freely. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. I'm going to type in 45 and enter. And I've rotated the triangle 45 degrees zero in my rotation was straight up in line with the object just like here you see this line right here I created this protractor and I indicated these numbers now the protractor is locked notice that you see the little lock symbol this layer is locked as is this layer these guys right here notice how all the numbers change these numbers I grouped they are grouped together I did this to show you what happens when you rotate this object. I'm going to select rotate again, this time from the home tab here from the uh, modify panel in the ribbon. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and select it with a crossing window. Enter. For the base point, this is going to be the center. It's going to be the center of the protractor as well. I'm going to pick this right here. And notice that I can rotate around my protractor, but I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, just so that you can see. 90 degrees. Now what I'm going to do, this is no longer 90, believe it or not, once I do the rotation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select Rotate from the Modify Toolbar, pick the Numbers, Enter. I'm going to pick the Center again, and I'm going to rotate, I'm going to rotate the Numbers so that you can see what it is now. Where I place the object, this is now 0, 90, 180, 270. I'm going to rotate again. The center would be the end of this, the point of this triangle or the center of the protractor. And now this time I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Notice I did rotate it 45. This is the 0 zero right here so it'd be this is zero five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five degrees this is how you use the rotate command I'm gonna rotate the numbers again and I'm gonna go ahead and oop, oop, oop. I'm sorry I didn't pick the center I got a little ahead of myself right there and now I'm going to move 0 to where it is now. This is the new 0 and 90, 180, 270. Now when you use the rotate command you can also use negative numbers. For example, I'm going to pick rotate from the toolbar, pick this triangle, here's my center here, I'm rotating this way. I'm going to type in negative 45, oops, 45 negative 45 degrees. Press enter, back up. Now there is one other way that you can use. You don't have to actually select something on the object. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select a point out here, one and a half inches straight down from the object. I'm going to select, let me pick it from up here this time, rotate, I pick it. Now this time for the base point I'm going to hold either the shift key down or the control key down. Either one will work. I'm going to hold the shift key down only so you can see a little icon next to the cursor. I'm going to right click and here are my object snaps. I'm going to select from. Now it's asking me where the base point. Where do you want me to start counting from? I'm going to tell it to start counting from right here the point of the triangle. Now it's asking me for the offset. Where do you want the center to be. I'm going to use a relative coordinate. I'm going to type in at 1.5 less than caret and it's going to be straight down 270. Remember this is zero right here 270. I press enter 
and I am one and a half inches straight down from this point and I can rotate about that point and I'm going to type in 35 degrees this time how about that and there it is this is the rotate command 